just one second. Okay. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Christopher. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Uh, welcome to another breakfast. Uh, okay, English breakfast. And today is a special one because I have a guest. Uh, my guest is Chris, Christopher Grabinski, who is my partner. And today we are going to talk about remote work. So everything will be in English. <laughs> if you have any questions for Christopher, please ask. If you have any questions about um, words that we used, also ask. Uh, that's fine as well. So today, as I said, we're going to talk about remote work. Uh, Christopher, today is Monday. Are you ready for uh, upcoming week? Uh, not so much. I'm a little <laughs> bit tired. Oh no. What did you do on the weekend? Oh, I was working on a super secret project. <laughs> I, I'm not sure Probably. if I can tell anything about it right now. <laughs> yes, uh, please tell. <laughs> I think you're better than me uh, talking about what I work during the weekend. Yeah, well, <laughs> unfortunately, Christopher has the unfortunate, um, uh, I don't know how to say, opportunity, I guess, to, to, to be my partner. And that means that he works a lot. So Christopher works uh, his full-time job and on the weekend he does some projects for me. So at the moment he's working for uh, to, to build a new bootcamp website. So yeah, well the whole in okay English website, but uh, yeah, but for now it's just for now bootcamp. it's just bootcamp. So he worked on that, uh, which I'm grateful mm -hmm. for. But unfortunately he has no life at the moment. Mm -hmm. And now I'm dragging him out of bed in the morning and yeah. uh, asking him to join <laughs> us. <laughs> so uh, yeah, that's his life. Uh, I chose <coughs> this life, so can only blame myself. Yes, he thinks <laughs> that he chose it. <laughs> um, all right, guys. So anyone who is joining at the moment, we are going to um, talk about remote, remote work today and uh, about a little bit uh, about travels and stuff. So <clears throat> maybe before we start, let us know who is working remotely at the moment. Mm -hmm. uh, if you guys um, are working at home, probably because of the virus, do you have that opportunity? And um, what do you think about uh, remote work? So, Christopher, can you tell us a little bit about what you do? <laughs> yeah, so uh, I'm a front-end developer. Uh, that means I, I'm a, basically I develop websites, I program websites. Um, I used to also design them, but uh, recently I've done that. Well, not recently, but for a very long time, actually, I haven't, haven't designed that much, even though I studied design in university. Okay, so you didn't study programming? No, I did not. Okay. Oh, I didn't even know that, <laughs> that you didn't study. So you, did you learn this all by yourself? Yes, yeah. Okay. Yeah. And uh, what was the, how did you do that? Was it difficult? Um, no, it was not that difficult because like I made very, like, I made baby steps all the time, you know, like when I started, I was like, uh, even before we got the internet, I wanted to make websites, right? Like I thought like this would be cool. So I made like, like fake websites in PowerPoint and I imagined that they were online and I could click around and things would happen like like a dolphin would fly through the image or something like that <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, but uh, but then when I when I got on the internet I like um, yeah like I started like very slowly like just uh, designing them first I got like a new computer and some software so I designed it uh, actually no I started in, in Microsoft Paint to design wow. my websites yeah, that was, that was something. Um, yeah, and then just like very slowly, I figured out like how to do it. Like there were already tools where it was like drag and drop. Like you would uh, be able to kind of uh, draw like boxes mm -hmm. and put stuff in there. So that was quite easy. And then uh, later when I wanted more, like I had to learn a little bit about HTML, which is used to build websites uh, and CSS to style them. And yeah, the, since this was all, since these were always like small things um, that I needed to know, and then more and more came on top of that, it was quite easy to to do it. Especially since there was no time limits for me or deadlines, right? Mm, yeah. Because uh, I I could just do whatever, and uh, usually the ideas that I had were kind of 
uh, very simple so it was fine I could learn by myself wow. so I must say this is kind of impressive because um, so you learned it by yourself mm -hmm. but at the moment you are really like working with really advanced things right it's uh, you're working as a developer you're working mm -hmm. for a company and uh, you're doing pretty advanced stuff as well <laughs> I guess it always depends what you what you consider advanced. Well, stuff. for me, any programming is advanced. <laughs> I I see the screen he's working on, and I'm, and it just looks like I don't matrix. know. Yeah, like matrix exactly. <laughs> yeah, it does. Yeah. Well, so, sometimes so. it feels like that too. Yeah, you know, like I always look at it uh, in a different way. I I don't think what I do is very advanced when I look at um, partially because of my my background really. Uh, but when I look at what other people do, like I feel the same way. I look at that and I feel like, oh my God, what are they even doing? I have no idea and I'm, I'm working in the field, right? So there's like always this kind of imposter syndrome mm -hmm. where you think like that yourself, your, your, your skills are not, uh, not enough, enough, are not good yeah. enough. Um, and others are so far ahead of you. When in reality, of course, it's like always like uh, some kind of trade off, like some people know one thing better and then they don't know the other one. Then. Yeah, 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 that's true, yeah. Uh, okay, so oh, we have a Lots lot of, of comments. comments. Yeah. <laughs> hello, Agnieszka. Hello. Hello, uh, hello Mariola. Uh, and uh, Paulina says, hello, dears. Uh, nice to see you. I'm in and also working constantly from home since March. Yes. Okay, well, many people do that, yeah. I, I think, Paulina. So how do you find it, Paulina? Do you like it? Do you not like it? Uh, what, what, uh, what, what are your feelings about it? And Magdalena says, unfortunately, I have been working at the office, but in marketing, so I think that it's good. Uh, it's a good job to work from home. Yeah. As a matter of fact, I want this. Okay, yeah. yeah. Uh, Christopher actually also works uh, in a marketing team and they all, at the moment, they are all... Oh, don't remote. tell that to my boss that I work <laughs> in a marketing team. Oh, uh, okay, well, <laughs> he were, you know, okay. No, but I used to work in, a, in like a full fully embedded in the marketing team and because I study design I feel, always feel like this is like my natural habitat right where, where, I, where I feel the most comfortable mm, yeah uh, and actually um, they at the moment also all the people from your company are also remote they, their mm. office is closed so yeah like one office is open at the moment but uh, only a few people go there like you mm. have to uh, do a, a coronavirus test uh -huh, okay. um, there are some other restrictions, so... I think in Poland probably, because uh, he, Christopher works for, for a company that is in Spain, so they have very strict regulations. Uh, I think in Poland uh, it's more relaxed mm. probably, even though you have a lot of uh, cases there. I work at home, Mariola says I work at home this week because of COVID in my company. Oh, oh wow. Well, I, I'm ho I hope you're going to be okay and nothing will you know um so do you have to do the test mariola do you, or do you have to stay at home for two weeks how does it look like okay and yola says hello hello yola hi hello. Uh, okay so um why did you decide to start programming and uh, quit designing was it like a like a, something that you decided to do was it a process mm -hmm. did it happen uh, by coincidence um, yeah, I'm not sure, like, so, so, actually I am sure, <laughs> so I have, uh, before I started programming, I started designing, but I always designed to, to get the website done, right, mm -hmm. so th this, like, it was just like a matter, uh, a thing that I had to do to get another thing done. Um, so when I when I started working or throughout my life really like I I was always like switching between design and programming the thing that I did more like it was always like a, like one or the other and at one point when when I finished school like you kind of have to decide like what are you going to do right and at that time I was like more into the design part so so that's basically why I studied design mm -hmm, right? mm -hmm. um, and it was actually pretty cool. Like you could, I could do many things, and I love to be creative, so that was a good thing for me. I could do films and uh, like learn about typography, 
um, and all these kind of things and it was kind of cool but then at the end of it like I, I, I kind of noticed that I have, hadn't done any anything with, uh, with programming or anything for the web which I really loved in my studies so um, for my final project I decided to, to develop uh, a website or a, a web app actually like uh, it was like a little like productivity tool and at the end of that I ended up uh, just working as a programmer all the time again mm. and it's just like kind of that I was already in there and I decided that it would be easiest to just stay in there because it was paying good money so mm. yeah so I just yeah. continued doing it so uh, after that uh, did you think that uh, oh, I want to work remotely I want mm. to work at home or did you was mm. that your goal because for me for example uh, working at home or working outside of office was a goal yeah. and I really wanted that because I really didn't want to go to the office was it like this with you too uh, I think it was kind of coincidental like um, because at the time when I finished my studies there was this whole digital nomad thing coming up and I've never heard about that really and like this whole idea of I could work from anywhere like it was completely new to me but like I said in my in my final project I did this productivity app and that was already about remote work uh, about like uh, about um, finding out your pr productivity at different workplaces that's what uh, what my friend and I built and um, so at the end uh, of my studies I um, basically my friend who I worked with he was like kind of encouraging me to uh, to uh, work remotely and at one point I just bought my ticket uh, to Thailand right? mm -hmm. and we talked about this in the last video you can look it up in the link in the uh, description <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah so I didn't plan for it it just kind of happened and yeah mm, okay and um, because the, the, so the first because before you went to Thailand and started mm -hmm. working remotely uh, you worked in IKEA right? In no, no. I worked in a in an ad agency. Oh, okay, in, okay. In a creative agency. Okay. Uh, I worked at IKEA, but only to finance my my uh, my uh, apartment and to move uh, to the city where I studied. But uh, at one point, I got this job in the in an agency that was just paying twice the money. So okay, it was kind okay. Of, so uh, so no so um, so basically, it wasn't like uh, you heard about remote work and you wanted that, so you just went and and went for it. Well, yeah. Basically. At the end, I mean, I, I kind of heard, heard about, it, like I said, right, and I, I was fascinated with it because uh, because I'd never traveled much in my life, so I, I was really I was really thinking that this would be something cool for me, and there were like some things happening in my life where I just thought like, yeah, maybe it would be cool to get like a break and then uh, I never stopped so <laughs> okay okay <laughs> I like it, I guess. all right so uh, what do you think are the good sides of remote work uh, you don't have to be in an office <laughs> <laughs> that's the, the biggest advantage yeah. so uh, why why um, well I, I don't want to you know I hope that <laughs> your boss is not listening to this uh, but why do you you don't want to be in an office so maybe I start first by saying that I actually like being in an office, but there are a lot of things about offices that, that are not great, uh, which is like usually nowadays you have these open offices where it's like a big room and some people like me, we like it quiet and mm -hmm. we, we want to concentrate and we want to do our own thing and then we want to go home. And there's some other people that are like very social and they like constantly roaming around mm. talking to other people and uh, and they, sometimes they get louder and it kind of makes it hard to concentrate and to be productive uh, when when they do this like in some other corner it's already bad enough but oftentimes people just come over and say hey and these are like things that are always uh, yeah said are the pros of an office i think those are the biggest cons um, and these things annoy me but on the other hand like i like i like you probably can guess by now like uh, i'm like a more like a uh, introvert so so i always feel like if i'm if i'm at home or far away from people um then uh, it's hard for me to socialize so that's why that's why i worked in an office right mm -hmm. that's why we came here to portugal um because uh because i wanted to force myself to be in like be a little bit more social but yeah it's it's also 
not very productive, I would yeah, say. Yeah, yeah. So, so yeah. So one of the reasons why we came to Portugal and decided to stay here was because Christopher decided to go back to the office. So he wanted to uh, be with people. Mm. Uh, but I think at the end, it was for you, it was really kind of hard because you were complaining that people talk a lot and Portuguese people as Spanish people and, and Italians, I guess, they, they talk a lot. So it was for you, it was very distracting, right? Uh, yeah, I, I bet it's like not a Portuguese problem. It's just like a problem of these open offices that are made for people to have interactions, right? Mm. And it's kind of against what the company actually should want from you, right? So I think it's great that, that you have the social interaction, but I think there can also be too much of it. And uh, in these open offices, it tends to be too much. Yeah. Uh, I, for like, my taste. Yeah. For me, it was uh, always, I think, it was the problem uh, also with talking, but more of like a pointless conversation mm. very often. So you... Yeah. Yeah, so, so like, oh, how was your weekend? And, and uh, yes, a small talk, but also sometimes it dragged for a very long time. I was not interested in the topic and very often it was for me, it was just not uh, very good. So, so not, not being in an office is one of the advantages. Can you think of any other advantages of remote work? Um, I don't know, like, I think this is for me the biggest one, really. Mm -hmm. um, I think it gives you more freedom, like usually you, can achieve more things and you also like you can also go let's say you go for a walk or something like that or you cook your food at home which you might prefer over buying like quickly buying something outside so I think you can live overall a healthier lifestyle and uh, yeah just like having like being at home I think gives you like yeah, just the possibility to do other things too mm -hmm. uh, and kind of save some time. You don't need to yeah. commute, which yeah. is always a drag, like depending where you live. Some people commute like two or three hours to work, which mm. is just insane. Crazy, right? yeah. You have to get up super early, you get home super late and then there's basically nothing left. And especially in these startups, um, has a kind of this atmosphere where people uh, work uh, a little longer so that you might come home at nine or ten and then get up at six again to yeah. be at work at yeah. on time yeah. and uh, it's just like something which doesn't really uh, jive with me. Yeah, yeah. I, I think like saving time is really a great advantage of it because you don't have to, you don't spend time on a bus. Although I think like when I commuted to work, I think I read more books mm. uh, when I was on the train for an hour, one way for an hour back. So I mm. read more because I had time. Now I also have time, but I also find other way, other things to do. Mm. So it's uh, it's always that. But yeah, yeah absolutely. Maybe we, we will talk about the cons of working. Yeah, later, I wanted so. to I wanted to ask, but let's let's go first to see what Paulina said. I generally li uh, generally like it and always wanted to do so. Be careful, what are you dreaming of? Mm. But for now, I would like to have possibility to go back to office from time to time because I start to have enough of my home. Uh -huh, okay. Unfortunately, for now, it's not possible. But I try to travel a little bit in this time. This keeps me my mind healthy. Yeah, yeah. we're gonna come back to the cons, and I think you have a good point there, Paulina. Totally. I think yeah. Uh, and Mariola, I'm waiting for a test because I had contact with a positive coworker, but it's not so big contact, so I don't have to be on quarantine for Sanapit. Uh, okay, Sanapit is like a like a health organization. Mm. Oh yeah, and I can, know all about. That. <laughs> I can work from home this week. It's a new experience for me. Well, I wonder what you're going to say at the end of the week because it's mm. your first week working remotely and I wonder how you're going to feel after. Mm. But I hope you will be healthy and fingers crossed for your test. Um, okay, so so cons of, of working remotely. Mm. What are the cons? Well, you get lost in your work. Um, so now you have all the time to focus. Nobody disturbs you. So you lose track of time and uh, suddenly you find out you work uh, 10 hours a day <laughs> or something yeah. like that and uh, maybe you didn't even take a break because uh, nobody came to you and said, hey, want to go for lunch, right? So you have to uh, be, you have to, lot, have, to have a lot of um, 
uh, planning and uh, you need to kind of respect the, your time uh, much more, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. That's the biggest con for me. Yeah, I think um, also like Paulina said that she would have she would like to have that possibility mm. to go back to the office from time to time yeah. uh, because she has enough of her home and I can totally understand that. Yeah, really. I think this is like really in this case um, more problem of the situation because um, of course you have at home you set up your workstation and everything is nice and perfect but uh, if there is not a pandemic going on you can always just like go maybe for two hours or so and work from somewhere else per day mm. or per week or something like that you could go to a co-working space to a coffee shop uh, you can work from the park maybe I don't know like which is not that comfortable but maybe to get like a little bit of a break from home I think it's easier when there is uh, not a pandemic going on yeah yeah but also I, I think maybe with this is also another uh, problem of the kind of work you do because uh, for example maybe Christopher um, can do that because he can mm. take his laptop and go as my fr one of my friends she works remotely and she does uh, some finance stuff for some health organization so she has basically two computers and she needs she has one big computer mm. and one small and she needs two of them during her work and she also rents a, a room. Mm. Uh, it's a big room, but it's a room where she sleeps, and and you know, and she has her clothes there, and 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 she lives there. Yeah. So it, it's really for her. It's really at the end of the week, she always complains that it's a little bit too much. Yeah, this is a thing. Like I mean, there are people that uh, have been working remotely like forever. Yeah, and those people. They didn't care much about uh, about the pandemic because for them they already set up everything so that working from home is not a big deal for them, right? But now we find that that basically everyone is forced to work from home, and many people uh, have not set up their apartment to yeah. accommodate for that, right? Like if you if you have only one room, like I didn't even have a desk, right? I didn't yeah, have a desk. Exactly. Like yeah. working from home for me is here in Portugal was like really hard in the beginning. Like I had to work from uh, from a table next to you. Yeah. Have to listen to uh, English lessons all day. <laughs> uh, it's really great because I couldn't speak English at all before. <laughs> Uh, and through that I learned a lot, but um, yeah, but it is uh, it is kind of tough, right? There are like new situations that come up that you didn't really expect, so that that's kind of a it's kind of a bummer. But uh, I think once you set everything up nicely, and you need to uh, you really need to force yourself to get some rituals to get away from the desk, right? Yeah. That's really important when you work from home. You need to go outside more often. You need to change the rooms every now and then because if you just sit there like after a week you just go crazy and then you have to yeah. go to a mental asylum <laughs> yeah yeah no no it's true it's true because uh, so another uh, so one of my students uh, for example she works from a kitchen oh yeah so she has no uh, office no other space where mm. she can work and you know working at like one day maybe one day a month one day a week you know that would be okay but if you have to be there all the time and especially during pande the pandemic we mm. could not get out yes. that much mm. so i really i think uh, she she told me that she's just going crazy yeah. uh, it's it's really you you can you might think that remote work is fantastic you don't have to go to the office but very often it is hard so uh, maybe you can tell uh, them our setup here. How does it mm -hmm. how does it look like in okay. our apartment? So our apartment has one bedroom, a living room, a kitchen, and a bathroom. And uh, I work in the bath uh, in the bathtub. <laughs> That's not true. <laughs> <laughs> it's such a liar. Um, they will believe it. <laughs> then I'm gonna be the bad person. <laughs> no, but um, but uh, since we came here, like uh, your office has been in the living room. Yeah. So um, most of the day you spend in the living room, and uh, I used to go to the office, right? So no yeah. big deal. When I come home, uh, you're done with work usually, and um, the entire apartment is to share. But uh, now, um, like uh, you work still in the living room. I used to work uh, with you in the living room behind you on our little dining table. 
uh, but now I, I work in the bedroom, right? So yeah. I get up usually, my, I'm going to explain my day, I get up in the morning, I go to the bathroom, then I go back to the bedroom, yeah. and then I stay there <laughs> yeah. until I like go to the kitchen and like sometimes we yeah. go shopping, etc. Right? So yeah, so our, our dream is basically to have a much bigger apartment, mm. so, so at least I have the office and he can have a living room. Uh, to use and and we can separate certain things because mm. at the moment like even for me yes I am in the living room and it's a bigger room and it's better <clears throat> but also I don't seem like there's a barrier and uh, you know that I when I finish work I can just leave it I can see the desk all the mm. time there and and uh, I, I can I see it and it's like, oh, I haven't done this or I haven't done that. I have to go back. So it's not separating my my working life from my private life. And I think that's, that's kind of... And also all my things are here and it's always, it seems like it's always messy. And... At least you don't have to see your desk when you wake up like me <laughs> yeah, <laughs> every that's, morning. It's like, oh. That's true. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> uh, day of work. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, so for Christopher, it's even worse. At, the, at first, like he said, uh, when the pandemic started, he had his computer from work at just next to me at the dinner table. And... Mm. Uh, that wasn't very comfortable like i didn't mind but he was uh, getting a little bit annoyed with me talking all the time because i talk all day almost. yeah it's not like only that but it's only also we have these little tiny chairs that are super uncomfortable yeah. and um and this just doesn't work like after a while like you just go crazy right so i had to yeah by my own setup yeah so so he has well you know you have your own bed yeah it's in the bedroom yeah. so it's not really it's like a teeny bed. tiny desk because uh, that's the only one that fits yeah that it works kind of yeah. okay so. yeah it's so we work in separate rooms and, and it's okay so um so maybe let us know also what your setup is for yeah. remote work right uh, so do you have your own office at home i think agnieszka is here who is my student and I think she also works from home, but I, I guess I am not 100% sure, but Agnieszka, I think you have your own office, right? So you, mm. you have a house, so it's nice. separate, it's, it's nice. But uh, what about uh, you guys? Like, how is your setup at home? And also, I wanted to ask you, how is it to work with your partner at home at the same time? <laughs> Do you want to kill me sometimes? Uh, no, no. <laughs> no. My mom is always, sorry, my mom is always asking uh like are you guys okay is it okay for you to live together and work together and do all that i was like for me it's a fine but how about you how is it yeah it's fine it's, it just feels like uh like you're together all day but actually you're not which is weird right like when you when you're in the office and you don't see the other person uh you kind of accept that that uh that you're not there and uh, everyone is doing their thing but if you're in the same apartment you can hear each other and um, like you know this, I always come around and like yeah, uh, he does. peek at you <laughs> yeah. and want to say, hey, I'm, I'm like now becoming a little bit what I hated in an, in an open office. Right? <laughs> like, it's hey, true. how are you doing? <laughs> so. And I, I don't, I'm not the biggest fan. Like, I think it's cute, but you know very often I'm very I'm busy and I need to focus and I really don't like when someone interrupts me. yeah and now I can see this really in like uh, just now that we talk about this that I've become what I hate <laughs> <laughs> is there gonna be an improvement in that okay but no but <laughs> we we um we worked together um, in uh, in Chiang Mai in very tiny apartment. It was smaller than ours at the moment, and it was okay. Yeah, but also uh, oftentimes we, or at least I, just left, right? I yeah, went somewhere I, yeah, else. Yeah, true. And um, that freedom is not really there. So, okay, right now we could go out, but here in our area is just not that much opportunities yeah. to, to work outside. Yeah, that's true. In Lisbon, we have a lot of co-working spaces. So if you guys want to get out and you live in a big city, <laughs> then co-working space is a good idea. So here we have... Uh, if there's them, no pandemic. <laughs> if there's no pandemic, yeah. Uh, but in Lisbon, they're open, like you can work there. Yeah, yeah, but it's the same with going to an office right now. Like, why would you do it, I feel? Because yeah. there's so many restrictions that it's just like... 
And yeah. in an office, at least you know there is always the same people that uh, that you kind of know. But then in a co-working space, there might be people changing, so you have no idea. Like, true. Uh, if it's probably higher risk. To yeah, and also something. I don't know what the what the rules that there are. It mm. might be that you have to work in your mask, and I really don't like think to. that's the case. No. Yeah. Okay. Mm. I thought maybe that's the rule. Uh, okay. So one one of the disadvantage for me is the loneliness. Uh, for example, I feel that. But you uh, have me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah yes you are you are my sunshine but you know it's sometimes it's uh i really need the contact uh with other people oh. not in the office not like being i don't miss the office but i miss meeting people and uh if you work uh, remotely and you live abroad where it's not your home then you have to make an extra effort to meet someone yeah totally yeah so it's sometimes it's, uh, it feels kind of yeah. lonely and even though I have my students and I talk to them but that's my work so that's uh, totally different mm. if, if I if I weren't with you I would also look completely different right now I would have like a long beard <laughs> like long hair because I wouldn't even care about myself <laughs> so this is also like a, something that people need to uh, take into consideration like yeah. you also need to look after yourself right? that's right yes yes exactly Don't so let yourself go. that's a good, very good point uh, very often people think that they want they can work in the pajamas and they don't have to wash their hair. I have to do it because I have my students. Yeah, but people are on Zoom or something like yes. that, right? So they kind of have to keep the upper part of the body in shape and <laughs> yeah. the rest you can just like... And then in your wear, underwear yeah, exactly. or something. Yeah, but uh, what I would also suggest for people to do is to uh, <laughs> get up at the same time, uh, you know, go, get up at the same time, Take a shower, put makeup on it if you want to, mm. uh, you know, dress nicely, at least, you know, it doesn't have to be very elegant, but, you know, clean clothes and, and uh, you know, something kind of representable, I think. Yeah, basically just a normal thing, what you yeah. would do if you would go to the office, right? Yeah, exactly, right. exactly. Because I think it makes you feel better. I did, when I started working remotely, I did uh, get up at like 12, you know, I didn't teach back then and, and I was doing other things and it really didn't make me feel very mm. well. I kind of like it. Like yesterday I was uh, completely lazy, I was just working Once in my pajamas. No but the thing is, uh, is that once you get into this kind of state, right, like where you just not look representable anymore, and then yeah. you also don't want to go outside anymore or meet yeah. with people, and it's like a vicious circle where, where at the end you just like kind of separate yourself from everything and uh, it just makes you miserable. Yeah, exactly. I think uh, uh, once in a while it's okay. Like I don't mind it either but uh, I think it's uh, if you do it that every day it really and then people complain because they don't feel very well mm. it's not even about your like I think it's mental right it's uh, your mental state gets worse then yeah, yeah. it's yeah. not your physical well-being it's just uh, in your head and I really during the pandemic when we had to be at home at the end like at first I liked it I mm. didn't mind but at the end I was just yeah you were going crazy yeah <laughs> I sure. was going crazy yeah. <laughs> so like even being at home all the time is not good so I have to get out at least on the weekend I need to be somewhere mm. so like Paulina said she she wants she goes out a lot uh, that's very good it's yeah mm. that's very good if you have I need to do it more often also yeah, yeah. yeah I think we both do yeah. probably yeah uh, okay, so how do you, so you, you told us a little bit about the organization and about your routine in the morning, a short <laughs> routine, but how do you think would be a good organize, uh, like how would you organize your work very well so you have that nice balance and you feel good? Mm. What do you think? I don't know, I think it depends on the person. Like I'm, I'm like someone that gets really lost in work, right? So it, when I'm at the office, I just want to, go home right I, I'm, I respect my time very clearly right but at home it's kind of hard mm. because I'm already at home so yeah. I have I have nowhere to go so you have to kind of create places or things that you that you're gonna do and uh, I know I'm bad at it like I just said I need to go out more often I know that right and what I what I do is like I block time in my calendar and that worked for a while now not so much anymore um, 
but I think you kind of need to force yourself to do other things, right? You mm. need to need to go out and take a walk, 15 minutes or so, I don't know, and or you you need to go to the gym, mm. you need to go do this and that, right? Just force yourself to kind of get outside of of the house, or if it's inside the house, at least in a different room, and do something completely different, yeah. right? In some cases, like you cannot really separate your workspace from uh, basically maybe you only have a studio apartment or like a room in a, in a shared uh, apartment, so it's kind of harder. But uh, yeah, like try to get away from the computer. Right? Yeah. This is like the, the biggest problem. The computer is always there. Like yeah. it can, it's like a magnet, really. Like, right. Because everything is on the computer, right? The entertainment is there. You have YouTube, you have Netflix. You have the news, uh, you have whatever you like is on there. So in the end, you just sit there all day, become like a zombie and just yes. staring into like this yes. void. <laughs> yes, it's so true. It's really uh, so, so sometimes, like, especially during the pandemic, I felt that very much. Uh, we actually uh, tried to go for walks like on Wednesdays we mm. went for a walk and then on the weekend we always went for walks. But still for me, it wasn't enough. And I really felt like I'm in front of the screen all the time. So if when I closed the computer, there was a TV and Netflix. Um, and, and then I was reading on my ebook and then there was a phone that I have Instagram on. And I felt like there's the screen all the time and mm. it's really making you feel very, I don't know, it's just a weird feeling that you are just there in front of it all the time. Yeah, I don't feel like that. I feel like I can kind of separate screens. Like the screen on my computer is different than the screen on my phone or on my Nintendo. Because I, f I feel like uh, some things are kind of limited. Like I cannot work on the phone, for example. So that makes me feel a little bit different. But when I'm on the, on the computer, and there's like a notification popping up, then I'm always there, you know, I'm always mm. there on my phone. I don't even have any work related things. So this cannot, cannot distract me from that. And yeah, like yeah. I just don't want to be such a technology uh, <laughs> enemy like you are. <laughs> it's not that I am an enemy of technology. I just uh, feel like uh, I need a, the rest. I need to go somewhere. I, you know, like go out, see something. Mm. Uh, enjoy myself, have a coffee, have a drink, have wine somewhere, have a nice dinner. Mm. So it, it's all very important for me. But um, I also, what Chris says, that you change the rooms. And for me, for example, going to the kitchen and cleaning the kitchen is always... Uh, like, that's why we, we, have a <laughs> we have this thing about washing the dishes. And I did not want to get a dishwasher because I really like washing the dishes. And I don't really do it uh, regularly as Christopher would like, so he gets annoyed with me sometimes. But it is I mean, for me. This kind of shows you, like you kind of set up your life in a way that works for you, and then suddenly, like the situation changes, and it's kind of hard, right? Yeah. You, because you have your rituals already. Yes. Especially for you, since you were working from home already, yeah. right? So you kind of set up everything already for you so that it works, like you. At this time, you go and do the dishes, so you cannot be on the computer, and you collected your entire dishes throughout the day, and there's like a huge pile. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. so you have also a lot of uh, you also it takes a lot of time to do it. Yeah. Right? So, uh, so there's no chance that you can work during that time. And now I'm here too, right? So I also have to use the kitchen. Yes, exactly, exactly. So, so that's the thing, right? Because I had my my routine. Uh, I oh, had no, breakfast. You know, a little fights. <laughs> so, who do you think is right? Me, that you have to clean your dishes right away, or Joanna, that you just collect them and clean them later? Tell oh us my in the God. comments. <laughs> I will not invite you for a conversation anymore. Well, you started it. <laughs> yeah, it's true that I did. I did. My fault. Uh, all right, so let's leave the dishes uh, somewhere else. In the sink. Else. In the sink where they belong. No, no they don't belong there. Uh, okay. <laughs> taking my own grave here. Uh, okay, so um, also a lot of people think that when you work remotely, mm -hmm. you can travel. Oh. Um, do you, th well, what are your experiences with that? Well, right now you cannot, I guess. <laughs> well, yeah, uh, but you can, well, you can, right? P people in yeah. Poland can go to somewhere in Poland. Mm -hmm. um, we can go somewhere in Portugal and work. But uh, what are your experiences with working and traveling at the same time? Um, 
it, it's okay, I, I guess. Um, like it depends on the person, really. Uh, the idea that many people have, and we talked also about this in the last episode, check the link in the description. Um, I will link it <laughs> later. <laughs> uh, it's, it can be hard because like sometimes, like work and travel doesn't really work together, right? Mm. Like the working is about sitting at a desk and doing something. And if you, it depends on your work, of course. If you're a photographer, it's different. If you're, if yeah. you're like a... If you're like a, I don't know, archaeologist, it's also you're not gonna sit on the desk, or mm. maybe you actually are, but you're also going out into the field. Um, but um, I would say for for me, it's like uh, like I work at the desk, and traveling is like being outside, exploring uh, the nature, and uh, sitting by the pool, drinking a couple of beers, and that doesn't really go with work, yeah. right? Yeah. So um, you kind of have to set your expectations straight. I think. Um, if you like travel around like you want to be in different places all the time it's great because even if you um, if you work let's say eight hours per day or maybe you work less if you're lucky um, then you still get on the time uh, during the time when you're not working you get the opportunity to explore a new new place right which is cool um, but you need to have the discipline again like working working remotely or working um, at home or um, having your own business, all these things, they take a lot of discipline. So you kind of need to force yourself to get your work done and then also respect your own time, right? Yeah. Like you need to, need to focus on both of these things and enforce both, both of these things. And uh, like when you travel around, it can be kind of hard because there's, it's very tempting to just go out and, and go to the beach, you know, and then maybe spend an hour there and let's say, I'm just going to go for, for, for a lunch break, I'm going to go to the beach. And then maybe think like, ah, maybe one, one half an hour more, yeah. and maybe one more. And, yeah. and suddenly you find out you're not working anymore, which happened to me, which is why I wanted to go back to an office, right? And uh, where I have like the structures being enforced on me. So uh, I don't have to yeah. uh, worry about yeah, it. Yeah, self-discipline. Yeah. I think there are people like, for example, I am very, like, I, I, I am very self-disciplined. Mm. So I really... I have I know that I have to do it and I will do it and nothing will distract me and I can stick to the deadlines but there are people who just really like especially if you go to countries like in Asia mm. you are so like overwhelmed it's the first and, time especially. yeah and it's very very nice mm. so you oh I'll do it later I'll do it later and if you don't have a boss if you work for yourself Mm. Uh, uh, then yeah, it can become a problem. It's really hard if you work for yourself, and because then you're not getting paid a salary, right? Yes, like yeah. you need to actually go and find clients. You need to deliver good work so right. that they want to work with you again. And uh, yeah, maintaining that can be really hard. Yeah, like my my goal at the first was uh, travel and work, but then I found mm. out that uh, you know I I feel I I see quite a lot of disadvantages of traveling mm. and working i prefer to just travel and yeah. work at home i mean for you there's also other things that, that come into um into play here right like you you need to have a quiet place yeah because you do the the lessons um go to okenglish.eu to find out more um <laughs> but you also need fast internet that's reliable because yeah. you you're not just sending a few messages or emails you're like on, on the video chat, right? Like yeah. so, so you, like if the internet connection breaks up, the student has a bad experience, exactly. Exactly. and then it doesn't work for you, yeah. right? So, yeah. you have another thing to worry about, which I, for example, don't really like. I need fast internet, but it's okay if it breaks up every now and yeah. then. Yeah, right? so it's not super fast. Also, exactly. Okay yeah, exactly. So for me, it's for example. A student has a bad experience once that's okay but if it happens every single lesson then of course i will have a problem and and i don't want that so yeah so yeah there, there are, but also there are you know all these other things that i thought that i could just work at the swimming pool or on the beach <laughs> Yes, <laughs> but that doesn't work at all. Yeah. Uh, so you You're can't see anything. Yeah, yes. exactly. Well, yeah, exactly. Right. It's not comfortable. There's sand. There's mm. sun, and and yeah, it's uh, heat. Heat. Yeah, exactly. So Agnieszka says the grass is always greener on the other side. That's, yeah, everything that's has true. its like pros and cons, yes. and mm. you kind of have to see what is the best for you. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And 
I, that's why I say like it's hard for me to do uh, the traveling part and the working, especially if I work for myself or more so if I have to, like I said, I have a routine, it's, it's better for me. And if I have someone that messages me, say, hey, where's my, where's my stuff? You need to finish your projects. Uh, like I will probably be uh, more disciplined. Uh, but if I have to find my own clients and I, maybe I'm just not going to do that, right? Yeah, I'm exactly. just going to stop doing uh, that and yeah. at the end I'm going to uh, find out, uh, oops, uh, month is almost over but I didn't do any work and yeah. I don't have any money. Exactly, so. yeah. That's uh, yeah, uh, one of the disadvantages <laughs> there. Uh, okay, so um, we are going to slowly finish because Christopher needs to go. If you have any questions uh, about remote work, let us know or you want to comment, don't be afraid, don't be scared. We're very nice people. Uh, so I am, I, at least. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so so th uh, the final question is like, what, what advice would you give someone who uh, will start working remotely mm. soon or is already, uh, you know, working remotely but it's not really working out? What what kind of things would you would you suggest for them to do? Well, um, I think just looking at myself and from seeing what doesn't really work for me is, uh, I would say that you really have to respect your time, you have to respect yourself. Uh, yes, you, you have to work, right? You have to do it because uh, you're getting paid for it. <laughs> uh, yeah. but, uh, but you also kind of have to set up boundaries more. Um, I feel like oftentimes people, they, they put a lot of, uh, they put more work into their job that they're getting paid for. And um, I always think this is kind of bad because because they're not getting anything for it and it kind of goes if, okay if you love it do it uh, I'm not gonna stop you but when you're working at home especially if you're alone and you, it's a pandemic you cannot go out and meet other people I think you have to respect your time much more and you have mm -hmm. to force yourself to to uh, to take the time for you and focus on yourself and that might also happen that that means you're working one hour less per day mm -hmm. right yeah because uh, you don't you always want to uh, care about yourself most and uh, and also if you feel bad uh, in the end then your work will also be reflected in your work and um, yeah nobody will be happy in the end it might actually be even uh, negative if you focus too much on work and yeah. too little on yourself yeah so don't forget about yourself um, put yeah. it in the calendar your breaks and do them Exactly. Don't be like me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I think you know it's a uh, we for, we often forget about it because the culture at the moment is very often the more the more you talk how much you work the better you are and you think that it's good but it's not really good and I used to work we both basically when I was starting blogging and do uh, and uh, teaching and stuff I used to work until two a.m. Mm -hmm. uh, you were working at nights and we did not have any routine and any schedule that was like, kind of healthy and uh, yeah, I, yeah I don't think it's very good I think what I did in the beginning that was the best is like you you plan your work for the week or for the day and when you finish it you just stop right because yeah. you can you can always do more right you can always do more but you should do like what is expected of you and once you have achieved that your job is done, right? This whole thing with um, going to the office like from nine to five, right? This is, this is like a, an old idea, right? Mm -hmm. But in the end, uh, in the end, what really matters to your boss and to your company is that you get your work done. And when it's, once you get that done, maybe you put like another 15% just to show like, hey, uh, if, you, if you ever give some raises out, like don't forget about me, right? But uh, but then it's it, it's that right don't work 200 percent yes just uh, do the 100 percent maybe a little more and and go out right if, that means if you stop uh, if you finish everything by 3 p.m well then just enjoy the rest of your day i would say exactly. right of course like uh, sometimes you have to talk to your boss about it but um, but I, if your boss doesn't uh, doesn't support you with that i think it's actually a yeah. shitty boss yeah uh, but yeah like uh, just try to to work uh, as little as possible. Yeah, <laughs> well, it, you just work enough, right? Yeah. You, you just don't you, work too much. Yeah, right? exactly. <laughs> so so thing. set up your hours. You start at nine normally. That's your hours of work when you go to the office. 
So start at nine, finish at five, five o'clock, you close your computer, that's it. You don't have to work more. Hey, but I would also say, why start at nine? Maybe you want to do something else in the morning. Yeah. So you can start well, for later, some people right? it's possible. For some yeah. people it's not. And it also depends on the company. But yeah, exactly. It's uh, Just use the freedom that you have like uh, the best way you can, right? Like, mm. Try to plan your day the way you, you want to do it. Uh, and um, yeah. And yeah, and enjoy yourself. Too. Enjoy it, yeah. yeah. Uh, the, we 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 have to enjoy ourselves a little bit. Although we go to the gym now and uh, mm. we do try to get out and uh, no. do stuff. So yeah, we did some so. some things that we didn't do before. Yeah, right? because now we have more time for it. Yeah, exactly, so. exactly. So yeah, uh, okay. Um, I have one more thing to say in Polish. Mm -hmm. If you have to go, you can go. Yeah. I want to stay for, for okay. your Polish announcement. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so the Polish announcement. So thank you very much, first of all. Thank you, Christopher. And thank you, everyone. Always a pleasure for, to be here. Uh, <laughs> uh, great advice. It's very important what you're talking about. Uh, yeah, mm -hmm. well, I, I hope Thanks. that it's useful. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. So the thing, uh, so if you still have some questions for us, please let us know. If Christopher is not here, I will answer. I have time this week, so where, it's okay. Where would I go? <laughs> well, you can, but you have to go right to work, so it's uh, yeah. okay. So if you need me, I'm going to be in the bedroom. <laughs> 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 All right, so guys, uh, I, I have one announcement to say in Polish and then we're going to say goodbye. So the announcement is that moje ogłoszenie jest takie, że w następnym tygodniu, moi drodzy, zaczyna się rekrutacja na bootcamp. Jeżeli jesteście zainteresowani w komentarzu, pierwszy komentarz jest z linkiem. Link jest dosyć prosty, okenglish.eu ukośnik bootcamp. I to dla tych, którzy nie wiedzą, to jest kurs, intensywny kurs konwersacji z native speakerem, który trwa przez miesiąc. Więc uczycie się mówić, przełamujecie swoje bariery. Jeżeli jesteście zainteresowani, wchodźcie teraz na stronę, rejestrujcie się, bo osoby, które są na liście zainteresowanych, dostają pierwsi ogłoszenie o tym, że jest już rekrutacja, dostają też zniżkę. Więc jeżeli chcecie wziąć udział w tym razem, to zapisujcie się. Bootcamp zaczyna się 5 października. Przez cały wrzesień będzie rekrutacja. Jeżeli zapiszecie się wcześniej, otrzymujecie również rozgrzewkę. Będziecie mieli czas, żeby się przygotować do bootcampu. Więc e, zostawiam Wam link i zapraszam bardzo serdecznie na rejestrację. <laughs> okay, so uh, we're going to finish for today. Thank you so much, Christopher, for coming. It was a pleasure and I yes. hope you guys uh, will use some of our advice that we have, uh, that we had for you. Uh, and if you have some advice yourself, uh, yeah. feel free to share. Yeah, of course. If you have some experience with working remotely, I know some of you do. Um, so if you have something that you would like to share, let us know in the comments. I will definitely have a look, reply, and maybe, maybe I will write a blog post and put everything this together with, uh, with the link to the video and, uh, and maybe a mini lesson that I did before, uh, based on what we talked about. So, you know, all your advice also is very appreciated. Uh, you are both so nice and sweet. Oh, thank you. It was a pleasure to meet you. Thanks a lot for your time, Asha and Chris. Thanks thank you very you. much. Thank you. And Agnieszka says, polecam bootcamp. Thank you very much. I know, Agnieszka, you want to take an, a part in another one in October. That's great. <laughs> right uh, yeah, it was so nice uh, time with you. Chris, don't kill <laughs> Asha during your work together. We need her. <laughs> yeah, I need her too. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Thank you, Mariola. That's sweet. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, okay, guys. So we'll finish. Thank you very much. And have a good week. Have a good Monday. Bye See bye. you next week. Bye.